You know, in recent times, um, solar panels and, and solar technologies is one of the most talked about topics uh, online. Um, the question that get asked quite often is that um, I have an inverter charger, I have a battery charger in my in my RV or you know on my boat in my truck. I want to add solar panels. Um, does my what do I need to know to ensure that? my inverter or my battery charger is compatible with, with solar panels. What is the relationship between your existing inverter or battery charger and solar panels that you want to install? There's really not, uh, other than, you know, solar tends to be uh, tied to renewable energy. Um, inverters tend to be tied to renewable energy, but um, the fact is the, the inverter attaches to a battery as it draws current out of the battery. The solar panels, usually through a solar controller, attaches to the battery to put current back into the battery. But the solar panels and the solar controller um, doesn't necessarily need to integrate with the inverter. And so you can use you know, any number of solar panels and solar controllers with any number of inverters. They just happen to connect to the same battery bank. Um, the, the, you know, the only exception to that is, you know, like maybe some network systems where the solar controller may talk to the inverter so that you can use a single control panel or, or a single uh, point of access to, to look at and to, to manipulate data. But, uh, but really, electrically, there's no relationship other than they both happen to connect to the same battery. Oh, so what you're saying is that uh, if you have an inverter charger, you know, with an, with an advanced system control panel, and you add uh, a charge controller that uses the same communication protocol, then you can see the information on the right. control right. panel. Right, so, so you would have one access point to look at um, you know, charge voltage uh, as well as inverter draw and things like that, but, um, but when you're talking about discrete components, it really doesn't matter which, which gets tied to which. As long as there, as long as the inverter is 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 made uh, is sized right for the battery bank you have, the charge controller is sized right for the battery bank you have, and 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 the the type of battery you have, like AGM or gels or things like that, um, then then any solar charge system can work with any inverter draw system, and, and it, it'll be fine. So what I understand is that, you know, unless you have a very sophisticated system like the Freedom SW inverter charger system where, uh, as I understand from what you're saying, um, if you have especially a Combox device, right, right, then you can see information about the charge controller, the, the Xantrex charge right. controller, then you can see all of that information. Exactly. And that would be the reason to focus on maybe one particular brand. Um, so that they do communicate with each other, but um, but if they don't have a single point of access, it doesn't matter what brand of one versus the other brand of the other. Yeah, you don't really need to uh, provide access to charge controller through an inverter or inverter charger. That's not exactly. because the charge controller will uh, kind of work with the battery and right. the and the solar panels, it's, and inverter would of course draw power from the battery and and power downstream yep. loads.